In this video, I'm going to solve an ODE with a ramp forcing. What I mean by that is we have, let's say, an ODE, so here's the example, ODE Y double prime plus 4Y equal, and here I'm going to write down in uh, heavy side notation, but I'll draw a sketch of it in a second. So u5 of t times one fifth times t minus five minus u10 of t times one fifth t minus 10. And that is that right hand side is a heavy function, a heavy side function, or uh, what I call a ramp function that goes like this. At zero, it's zero, and it remains zero until five. And then it ramps up from five to 10, and then it stays up from 10 on. So there is five, and there is 10, and its value, we'll call that g of t the inhomogeneity, and that's a value of one up here. Okay, so how do we solve? Oh yeah, and uh, we'll use initial conditions, y of zero equals zero, and y prime of zero equals zero as well. All right, so the first step is to transform the equation, which with those initial conditions becomes kind of simple, s squared y of s from Maybe I'll just suppress the of s's here. So y squared, uh, s squared times y for the y, y double prime term plus four times y. And that'll be equal to transform of u5, one over five t minus five is going to be the one over five is a constant out in front. And then we get an e to the minus five s divided by, because there's a t, it'll be s squared. That's the t minus five. When you shift it back, it becomes t, and the trans transform of uh, the linear function t is just one over s squared. Okay, and then we subtract from that uh, another one over five e to the minus 10 s divided by s squared also. So there's common terms in there, so let's just pull those out. So we get, um, 1 over 5 e to the minus 5s minus e to the minus 10s, all divided by s squared. And now when I solve this for y, I get 1 over 5 e to the minus 5s minus e to the minus 10s, all divided by s squared, multiplied by s squared plus 4. And you'll notice that denominator does not factor. Well, I mean, it does factor. The s squared is already factored out, but the s squared plus 4 doesn't factor over the real numbers. So, um, so we'll end up having to do a partial fraction decomposition, and then uh, we expect to see cosines and sines in our solution. But let me just leave that for now and write this as y of s equal 1 over 5 times e to the minus 5s minus e to the minus 10s, all multiplied by h of s, where h of s is, is this 1 over s squared, s squared plus 4 term. Okay, so once we've written it in this form though, y of s, we should be able to get y of t directly using transforms, inverse transforms. And so that translates into 1 over 5 times, and now e to the minus 5s minus e to the minus 10s, um, those are just going to be shifts of the inverse transform of h. And so what we'll end up with there is u5 of t multiplied by h of t minus 5, where little h is the inverse transform of big H, and then minus u10 of t times h of t minus 10. And there is a bracket around all of this. 
And so now we just have to calculate what h of t is, and I will just write that down. But I encourage you to uh, go through calculating it. Um, so that gives us h of t is equal to 1 over 4t minus 1 over 8 sine of 2t. And that is another example of how to um, solve ODEs that have piecewise, in this case piecewise, linear right-hand sides um, using the shifted function transforms and inverse transforms.